Hey there! Welcome to the 25th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. In this tutorial, we'll look at the do while loop. I would recommend that you check check out the C++ equivalent of the do while loop on EasyProgramming.net as well. So the do while loop allows you to run a block of code as long as a specific condition is met, just like the while loop. But unlike the while loop, the do while loop will always run at least once before it checks the conditions. Uh, if you remember from the while loop, the condition is actually before the statement is. Uh, statement is run. So the do while loop you start out with the keyword do and then a code that's run and then it checks the condition. See if the condition is met again it'll repeat, rinse, rinse, repeat and lather if you will. So let's do some practice. Just like the while loop we're gonna need to specify a variable before the do. Not always necessary because it'll always run at least once. So we'll do do. So we'll do document dot get element by ID output dot inner HTML. Again, it's the same as before, so we'll do plus equals concatenate. We are on number I right plus whoops. BR just line break. And then we'll do I plus plus. And here we're going to put in the condition. So do while i is less than 10. Pretty simple, right? So do this at least once. Check the condition while i is less than 10. So it's going to go from 1 to 10. Oops. And we'll do update run to go 1 through 9. We we'll start off at 0 if you want. So we'll have 0 through 9. It's pretty straightforward, right? So it'll always run at least once. So what happens if I actually change this to 100, right? This condition is obviously not going to be met because i is not less than 1, le less than 10. If you did this in a while loop, this con this block of code would never run because it would look at the condition and then fail immediately. But let's run and update and run, and it says we are on number 100 because i is 100. It ran at least once. So the do while loop can be pretty useful at times if you want the, if you want a piece of code to run just once and then check conditions. But yeah, well that's all for the while loop. I recommend reading up uh, more on it on w3schools.com. Check out easyprogramming.net as well. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll look at the array method called the for each, which is another loop. More on that next time.